Hey guys, in a recent interview with the Sun, Chief Okori, the founding national chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, expressed grave concerns about Nigeria's current state. Okori highlighted the escalating insecurity in the country, warning that it could lead to severe consequences if not addressed properly. He emphasized the urgency of the situation, suggesting that pervasive insecurity has the potential to destabilize the nation significantly. Curry also criticized the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria, describing it as obnoxious and the fundamentally flawed, he argued, that the constitution is inherently lopsided, preventing Nigeria from achieving a, a truly democratic system that is fair to all its citizens. According to Kore, the existing constitutional framework does not support equitable governance, thereby exhibiting this country's challenges and contributing to its current precarious state. Addressing recent legal developments, Okori pointed out the discrepancies in the handling of cases involving prominent figures such as the leader of the Mieti Hala and activist Omoyele Sowari, both of whom had terrorism charges against them, withdrawn and was released. In contrast, Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, remains in, cost, in detention. Okori highlighted this inconsistency as a significant issue that needs resolution, questioning the fairness and justice of Kanu's continued detention. Okori liked Namdi Kanu's situation to the border Igbo dilemma in Nigeria viewing Kano as a symbolic figure in the Igbo community's struggle for recognition and equity. He drew parallels to historical figures like Ojuku, who previously embodied the Igbo struggle. According to Okori, Kano has become the living symbol of the ongoing struggle, representing the aspirations and frustrations of the Igbo people within the Nigerian states. He urged for a resolution to Kano's detention, reflecting the broader need for addressing the grievances of the Igbo community. He said, Nam the Kano matter is the same thing as the Igbo dilemma in Nigeria. Kano is an Igbo man, Igbo son, and they have seen him as a symbol of the Igbo man's struggle right now and that is a and that is what he has earned like ojuku who the symbol of struggle until now kano is the living symbol of the Igbo man struggle in nigeria okay guys you've all heard it now um everything he has said here is the uh Mazenam, the kano's freedom you understand he talked about marginalization of Indigo. How can people like uh, Omoye and Sowari, he did, well, maybe he forgot to mention uh, Sunday Igbo. Then uh, this, this recent one now, the Mieti Hala president, Bello, okay, Bello Bodijo, was released. And these people were also charged with the same, you know, charge with Mazenam the Kano. So how come these people have been released? And Mazenam the Kano today they are still dragging ground. So he's just trying to, you know, let Nigerians understand that uh, the frustration of Indigo uh, uh, in Nigeria is because of how the government is treating them, you understand? Well, he's not the first person that's been saying this. 
that uh, the government have choose to treat indigo you know in a very bad way you understand as you can also hear some people say since you do not want to include them in whatever thing you are doing just let them go you understand Mazenam the canoe should be released yes it should be released then they talk say first and first if you don't release this man you still have the opportunity to start talking you get about the other ones so the nigerian government have to look into this matter and do the needful release Mazenam the canoe and they restore peace in nigeria uh, in the southeast uh in particular as well so not be all the time go they use higher hand the chase picking sometimes go just like talk to her no need of you know beating beating because what the federal government did is actually the cause of all the problems in the southeast people are agitating instead of you to like call them and listen to them you begin to introduce operation python dance one two three like that anybody when they see from Bob junction with trust and shirts you'll be a pop member you won't don't go like that if you check southeast today in south southeast region they will tell you say no family in that region when we say they never experience one or two things they feel they look for one or they don't just buy one like that nigerian soldiers and all that so now so the matter just be so the government of nigeria should listen to the voices of uh, nigerians and do the needful by releasing the ipod leader so guys i'm dropping it here kindly drop your comments below the comment section i bet don't forget to give us a thumbs up share this video let it go viral thank you and bye for now